So I have been playing Dead by Daylight for probably over 100 hours at this point on my Steam profile, and I never even knew that there was any sort of tutorial that existed, and apparently you can earn a bunch of blood points and get a blood point token, or at least what says bloodied token, just for completing this, and I had no idea that any of this stuff was even a thing. So I figured, you know what, it's gonna be funny if I just do the tutorial because... Maybe something funny will happen, and maybe I'll discover something that I never knew about, so... As the entity commands, Dead by Daylight is a stomach stem trick, wait, asymmetric game that is played in trials between four survivors and one killer. Okay. So... Yeah, this is like a tutorial. I've never seen this. Survivor's role. As a survivor, you must hide from the killers. From the killer while repairing generators to power exit gates. This t tutorial will teach you the basics needed to escape alive. Okay. Yeah, so this is me. I'm looking around. WASD to move. Uh, you can hold shift to run. Very good. Scratch marks. When you run, you leave scratch marks that are only visible to the killer. Walk or crouch to prevent scratch marks. Okay. I can crouch. Vaulting. Vaults can be performed faster while running, but this can alert the killer to your location. Go to the window. Seems a bit challenging. Can I really go to a window? I can. Hey, I like this. Tutorials are fun. Go to the generator to repair the generator. Skill checks. Tap the skill check button when your pointer passes over the success zone. Hitting the solid part adds bonus progress, but failing a skill check removes some progress and notifies the killer of your location. Okay. Yeah, skill checks are... I used to have so much trouble in these when I first started playing. But here I am, doing the generator. Good. Vault through the window. Okay. What's next? Repair the final generator. Okay. I like this. It almost gives me campaign vibes. Killer powers. You've been caught in the trapper's bear trap. Each killer has a unique power that you must learn to avoid. Okay. I gotta try to escape. Oh no, is he coming? It's the killer! It's the trapper! Let's see. Terror radius. When the killer is near, your heart be beats louder. That's true. Hi, killer. Aw, oh, that hurts. Don't do that. Wiggling. You could try to wiggle free from the killer when you are picked up by pressing the wiggle prompt when it appears. No, killer! Stop it! I'm gonna set myself free. Oh no, no. Pallet stun. Pull down pallets to slow the killer when they're chasing you. Dropping a pallet on the killer will stun them and free any survivor they're holding. Just like that. And the killer can destroy pallets too. Such fun. What happened to her? Reach Meg. Okay, I'm coming. Meg, I think I play as Meg the most in this. Vaulting pallets. Survivors can vault over pallets that have been pushed down. Killers can destroy the pallets. That's true. I have background noise going on, by the way. Teamwork is an essential part of Dead by Daylight. You will need to unhook survivors when they have been hooked by a killer. That's true. Teamwork. The most annoying killers are the ones that hook the the ones that like go after the what do they do they they camp the hooks she needs healing lockers lockers are a good place to hide but be careful you aren't seen going in true that let's hide Oh, you better not take me out of the locker. I'm not in here. I said I'm not in here. Why'd you look inside? I'm not supposed to be in there. Why can't I struggle free? Now you're gonna put me on the hook. 
Let's see, escaping hooks. You can try to escape a hook on your own, but the chance of success is extremely low and failed attempts bring you closer to being sacrificed. Outside of the tutorial, you should only attempt to unhook yourself when there is no other chance of survival. Yeah. Maybe I can... No. Let's see, healing. When injured, you can make more noise. You will make more noise and leave a trail of, trail of blood behind you. Other survivors can heal you, just as you can heal injured survivors yourself. Yeah, so I pretty much know all of this, but I had no idea there was a tutorial for it. And you can earn a ton of XP for... Or not XP, but just blood points in general for doing this. So, do the tutorial, because it pays. Heal me, Meg. Heal. Keep healing, Meg. Nice. Teamwork. As a survivor, teamwork is crucial to your success in a trial. Working with others helps speed up generator repairs and healing wounded teammates. Very nice. We can work on generators together. I don't see the killer anywhere. Should I mess up a skill check? No. Let's not do it. Exit gate. Once enough generators are repaired, you can open the exit gate and escape the trial. That's right. Yeah, and you can point. You have, like, little emotes. You can point, and then you can wave to go in that direction. So there's a few small social features. We're leaving the trial. Getting out of here. This is our freedom. This is it. See that, like, blood stain on the box? We're free. Endgame collapse. The endgame collapse is triggered once the gate is opened by a survivor or the hatch is closed by the killer. Escape the trial before the time is up, otherwise you will be killed by the entity. Fun. Yeah, we don't want the entity killing us. And there's the hatch. Oh, they forgot to mention the hatch. The hatch. The last survivor in a match can also escape by jumping into the hatch. The hatch opens only when one survivor is left. Oh, so I just learned something. Um, or exit gates. Yeah, I'm gonna... I could take the hatch, but... Um, I think it would be more symbolic to just leave like this. I didn't know that... that there just needed to be one survivor left. I thought the hatch would only open if all the other survivors were killed, but apparently it's different. So, yeah, tutorial complete. Congrats, you have completed the survivor tutorial. So I did learn something there. I thought all the other survivors had to be dead, not escape, but they can either be dead or escape in order to have the hatch opened up, so that's nice. Yeah, so just like that, 50,000 blood points. Good. Okay. That's nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do the killer tutorial now. This will be fun. Learn to hunt survivors. Killer's role. As the killer, you must hunt down and sacrifice all the survivors. This tutorial will teach you the basics needed to appease the entity. Okay. So I am playing as the trapper. Generators. As the killer, you will be able to see the auroras of all generators on the map. You must prevent survivors from repairing the generators. Okay. Let's do it. Generator sounds. When a survivor fails the skill check, a visual notification appears to show you where the sound came from. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Damaging generators. You can damage partially repaired generators to regress their progress. How nice is that? Hunt your prey. When a survivor runs, they leave scratch marks that you can use to track them. Look for the survivor. Hey, you might... Oh, yep, there's the scratch marks. Get them. There's the scratch marks. I don't think they're going to go away, actually. Oh, no, they are going away. Vaulting. Survivors try to escape by using vaults. You can also move through vault points, but more slowly than survivors do. Yeah, that's why I usually don't do those. Survivors cannot go over pallets to slow you down. That means I can destroy the pallets. Yeah. 
Killer's power as the trapper. You can place bear traps to catch survivors. Each killer has their own power to learn and master. Okay. Find the survivor. Okay, now we're playing for real. Attacking. Tapping the attack button executes a quick attack. Pressing and holding executes a lunging attack that quickly moves you forward as you strike. Yeah, so you can do a quick one. Or you can lunge forward. So there's our survivor. Got one hit. Very good. Health. When a survivor is injured, they have a blood trail and they make more noise. It takes one hit to knock down an injured survivor. Okay. Good. Picking up survivors. Knock down survivors should be picked up, carried, and sacrificed on a hook to the entity. Move quickly as carried survivors can wiggle to break free. Yeah. Don't want them breaking free. Hook the survivor. Doesn't seem like they're struggling much. I'll hook them on this hook. Hooks. A hook survivor slowly progresses towards being sacrificed to the entity, but they can be rescued by other survivors. A survivor will immediately be sacrificed after being hooked three times. Oh! She got the quick and easy death. There goes the entity. Big, creepy, crawly spider like arms. The hatch. When there is one survivor left, the hatch will open somewhere on the map. Find and close it before the survivor can escape. That is true. There's the hatch. Freedom can be theirs. Oh wait, there's my trap. Oops. It's mine. End game collapse. The end game collapse is triggered once the gate is opened by a survivor, or the hatch is closed by the killer. Find and kill the last survivor before they can escape. If time runs out, all remaining survivors are killed by the entity. Oh, he stepped on it. Oh, and the timer's going down. Okay. Well, you know what this means. I got him. I think. Yeah, I got him. Okay, so that hook is disabled, so I have to go put it on another hook, I think. That one right there. I'm excited. If they make a campaign mode, this feels like this would sort of feel like a campaign like thing. In a sense. There he goes. Tutorial complete. Congratulations, you have completed the killer tutorial. It is done. Mission accomplished. Should I film myself fighting against the bots? I don't know. Should I? Should I do that? Survive with bots? Kill the bots. Huh. I could think about it. I have no idea how this is going to go. So apparently this is being done with bots. Yeah, that's right. Bots. Interesting. Okay, here we are. So we have to go up against bots, I guess? I'm assuming the killer is going to be pretty bad. I think. Unless it's another player. Hopefully the killer isn't that skilled. Let's we'll just do our gens. We don't have any perks or anything. Oh, got the white one. That's good. Slowly working on the gens. We're doing good. Nope, one of them's being chased. That's not good. I hear the heartbeat. Let's stay on it. Okay. We're good. Oh, there's the killer. He better not be going for me. Oh, no, he is going for me. Oh, no, that's not good. You can't see me. Oh, he did see me. Oh, that's not good. Get out of here, bot. Oh, 
I hope the other survivors come and rescue me. No! Man, how did that happen? I'm the first one. That's unfortunate. Please come and save me. Yay, we got another one. Yeah, he's healing me. Very nice. Yep. Okay, well, I was almost healed. Just have to search for more generators. Okay, good. They got that one. They're double healing me. That's nice. These bots work as a team. If only we had more players that were like that. A totem. We can cleanse the totem. I better get something for doing the totem. I'm the champion of totem cleansing. Oh, I think I did earn blood points for that. Okay. Oh, man. No, why would you vault? That's not smart. I'm just gonna work on my gen. Hey, he didn't see me. Yeah, you go rescue him. I'm gonna... Oh, no? You don't want to? Okay. Rather just work on the generator with me. That's okay. Good. Okay, we got another generator. I'm gonna see if there's another generator inside of here. Yes, there is. Oh, crap. No, he found me. He found me. He found me. Not good. Don't follow me. Be a good bot and stop chasing me. He's chasing me. That is not good. Jump, run, go, go. No, 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 run, run, run. He gave up. He gave up. He stopped chasing me. And it looks like that last survivor is getting closer to completing the gen, so I'm actually going to go sit by the door. Oh, never mind. He's by the door. Any second. Okay, let's open the door. The, the other survivors are bots, so maybe we could just leave them. This wasn't too bad. Okay, we're out. We are free. We completed this. And did we actually earn blood points for real for that? Because... That would be an easy way of farming blood points. Did I actually get blood points for playing against bots? Oh, maybe I didn't. I don't know. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Got him to prestige. Got my score. That's nice. Okay. Well, that's it for that. Alright, I'm gonna play as the killer now. I hope that this works out. Maybe I can kill the bots and earn my little completion award, but we'll see. I don't really play the Trapper much. I, I, I don't think I've ever played the Trapper, really. Like, maybe I played him, like, a few times when I first started, because I didn't have access to anything else, but I like to play the Dredge. Okay. Let's kill some survivors. If we can. I, I like to place traps. That's what I do. I feel like I'm moving a little bit fast. Oh, wait. Oh, they messed up a gen? Okay. Well, I'm gonna work on this one, then. Oh my gosh, they are prone to messing up. Stop messing up, survivors. You're making it easier for me. Oh. There he is. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Oh, I picked him up. Oh, that was rare. Okay. Well, that just happened. There you go, got one. Got a trap set, that's good. Don't you do those gens, don't you dare. Hey, I think it's nice that you do earn blood points just for doing these. There's another one over here somewhere. There he is. He's running in circles, isn't he? Just a bot. How hard is it to find to catch a bot? I feel like I'm getting juiced. Got him. Okay. On the hook. Hey, yeah, you see they messed up that one gen. Let's see if I can catch this guy finally. This guy's good at tunneling, so I have to chase after him.
Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He failed his skill checks. Ugh. I'm coming for you. I'm coming. Darn, this is harder to do than you think it is. Okay, so I found two survivors right near each other. Maybe that should count as something. If only I could keep track of them, I have no idea where they go. That's the most frustrating part about being a killer for me, is that I lose sight of where they're going. Oh, there you are. You were hiding. If they kept running, I probably would have lost them. I don't know if I can make it to that hook in time, but I could try. I see scratch marks. I see the scratch marks, but yeah, there you go. Usually it's the guys that run really slow when it comes to this game. Got one hit, finally. There we go. This one is going straight to the killer's basement. I'm gonna make sure that this one dies for sure. Not taking any chances. I'm waiting it out. There we go. Right in front of the killer's basement. And now this one is definitely gonna get... Gonna get some. There you go. Come save your friend. If you can make it. I doubt... I doubt that... Uh, what's, what's his name? What, Jake Park is gonna be able to do it? Well, we'll see. Where is he? There he is. I'm coming for him. You're not saving your survivor buddy now. This is your decline. This is where it all ends, right here. Go ahead. Go save your friend. Oh, no. Just the hatch now, my dude. I wouldn't be surprised if he tries running for the hatch now. Got him once. One more hit and we're pretty much going to win. Probably going straight for the hatch. And he went into the hatch. Great. That's how it ends. Well, I got three out of the four, so... Maybe that counts as something, I guess. But, yeah. That's pretty much it for me playing through the tutorial, I guess. I did get blood points, which is nice. Um, Yeah, we got our blood points. And we've completed it. And now we get our bloodied token. We got the token. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I just completed the tutorial, and apparently you can earn blood points by doing some of this stuff, so that's actually kind of fun. But yeah, I got the killer and survivor charm, the beautiful blood points. And that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, this will be fun to put together, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.